Hey guys, it's Gentry with Razorback Technology. Today we're going to be going over the new gauge features that we've released within the last month. If you've purchased a gauge from us within that time period, then you should have these options already available to you. And if not, then you can call us and we can give you a little bit more information about that. But we're super excited for this because this allows you to customize a lot of the settings in the gauge now to specifically fit your machine. And today we're going to be going over what those options are how to navigate the new gauge menu uh, and how to change them. And some of those options have to do with our new belt cooling fan, some of the features that this has and how to change the settings as well. And so with that, let's get right to it. Okay, so this is your main view for the gauge. And not much has changed except for in the bottom right corner, you'll have that fan symbol with the number five. Uh, and if you don't have our belt cooling fan, you can change that but this is what the default view looks like now. So traditionally, the rocker switch has been used to change the brightness of your gauge. Between five different brightness settings, it'll change your backlight and your LED. Uh, but now what you can do is you can hold in the rocker switch for a few seconds and it'll take you to a gauge menu. And there's a lot of different options on here, but how you navigate the menu is every time you click in it's going to take you down uh, the, these different options and there's a lot of div different options and it might seem a, a little overwhelming but we'll go through each one of them um, and uh, show you what those are so once you've decided you want to uh, change one of these options uh, what you do is you hold in the rocker switch to get to the other side and then every time you click in, it'll change. And then when you want to select that, you just hold it in to go back to the other side. And if you change a bunch of things and decide that you want to go back to whatever the default settings are, uh, you can go back down here and there's a reset all. You hold it in and it'll just change everything back. Um, to what it was. So let's go through what each one of these are. Your fan temperature. So this is only applicable for those that have the belt cooling fan that pairs with our gauges. Because what this is, is this, this is telling your fan to keep your belts uh, in that 180 degrees range. So if you want your belts uh, cooler than that, you can set it uh, to be cooler than that uh, and if you want them hotter than that then you can as well um, so that's what that is and so this fan is a variable speed fan so it'll always be on and that's what this fan minimum speed is is basically when you key on your machine this fan will turn on and it'll be at five percent of its power uh, and again you can change that um, I believe up to ninety percent um, so if you want, as soon as your machine keys on for that fan to be at 90% power level, you can do that uh, as well. Um, and then your fan max speed, you can change that to 100% um, or lower than that. And what's useful about being able to control the max speed is this fan does pull quite a bit of power. And so with these machines, um, most of them don't have alternators. Um, they just have a limited amount of power and with all the other accessories that people have is uh, this is a useful tool in being able to on the fly turn down your fan uh, power level um, in case that uh, you're having having some battery issues and some of these other ones are your LED uh, colors now you can basically set the temperature that you want these LEDs to change in the past for people that wanted customization there, you had to um, purchase a, a custom program, but now you can on the fly again change those temperatures uh, based on um, your own machine. And these are just your blinking temperatures and your flashing temperatures, so the LED will start to flash at you or blink. Um, the blinking is a slow uh, strobe and then the flashing is much faster. And then your main view is the big number. So 
you have two options now. You can have the temperature displayed or you can have a little line graph um, displayed. So whichever you prefer. And then as well, so these small views, um, the small views are those two numbers down below. Um, right now we have the bottom left window displaying the average and the bottom right uh, displaying the fan. And so there's a lot of different options now that you can have there. So this right here is your battery. So this will tell you what voltage your battery is. Um, and so that's nice because if you do have the fan set up uh, and you can see that your battery is, um, is draining, then that's when you can uh, on the fly adjust the maximum um, power uh, level of your fan. You can also have your sensor internal temperature and this will help you know if your sensor is overheating. Um, so you can have that displayed. You can have just your belt temperature displayed in that view as well and that would only make sense if you had that line graph uh, on the main view. Then again you can have your average temperature, you can have your high temperature, and then again your fan. And from this menu you can also adjust the brightness. Uh, change the units of measurement from Fahrenheit to Celsius and then again you can reset everything if you change some things and you just want it back uh, to the default settings and then to go back to that main view you just go to this select this option and then hold in the rocker switch and it'll take you right back where you started so if you've got any questions about any of these options or um, why you would want to change them, give us a call and we will help you uh, get that all set up. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.